So this is a video on how to check your connection wires on a JLL S400 treadmill. The only sort of for this is a 6mm Allen clip and a standard Phillips head screwdriver as well. So to begin with, we're going to remove four bolts. Make sure that all power connections are disconnected before we start this. And then we're just going to simply use our Allen key to unscrew those. Console should be able to lift off, like so, revealing the connection wires inside there. So we're just going to pop that on there for now, while we check this, pull those out, rest that on there. Just make sure we don't drop that. And then from here, what you're going to do is check that all the coloured wires are connected and lined up, not tangled. Um, check that they're not damaged and that none of them are broken. Because if you've got any damaged ones or broken ones, then that be um, a cause for your treadmill not to work. So from here, make sure that those are okay. What you want to do is unclip the clip up here just by holding down the centre bit there, giving it a wiggle, and it should come free like that. So then you'll have your two parts. So you want to make sure your pins are all lined up and straight there. If any are, any are bent or out of line or not slotted into these parts correctly, then that will mean your treadmill won't work either. And then it's just a case of making sure that those slot back into there fine. And then once you hear the click, and then once it's back in, you can feed it back through. So that's checking the top half. And then make sure you feed it back through and, um, and you're not trapping any part of the wheels when you're putting it, slotting it back into place. Because of one that would cause it uh, not to work either. So from there, we've checked the top half. Now what we want to do is check the bottom half down here. And this is quite simple. All you need is your Phillips screwdriver here. And you'll have one screw in the side of this plastic flap here. So, it's simply just unscrewing the screw in there, like so. And once it's out of place, the plastic flap should be able to lift up and then just unfold like so. And then you'll reveal the bottom half there of your connection wires. It's the same as the top, so you'll have your plastic clip in place. So lift up the centre bit and unclip that, give it a wiggle and it should come through. And again, it's the same as the top half, you want to check your pins are all lined up, none are bent, and that they all slot into the corresponding holes correctly. And it's the same with the wires again, you want to make sure that they're all untangled, all fairly straight, unbroken, nothing snapped, anything like that. So once you've done the soap, you can clip that back into place, wait for the clip, and then it's a case of slotting the, that part back on, making sure you go back down to there and you can feed your wires back onto there so they're covered through there. Line up your hole and you can begin to screw it back into place once you've done that. Make sure it's nice and tight as well so it's securely in place. Start moving. Line it back into place. Screw them all back in your fingers. Now 
And once those are in place, we can begin to tighten them down to make sure everything is nice and secured. Once you complete that, that's how you check your wires on a JLL S400 treadmill.